do 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 and I decided tonight was a good night just to be all cozy. Got my house coat on. <sighs> Thinking about bedtime already. Yeah, that'll be nice, right? Well, <clears throat> tonight for Anti Bookworm, we have our second appearance of Little Quack coming up. We have a poem for you and we have a song. But first, I would like to mention that Anti Bookworm is on the traditional territory of the Mississauga First Nations. And we are grateful to the Mississauga First Nations and all other First Nations who have been here that have cared for the land. And through the Williams Treaty, we are able to share in it with them. So thank you. I take a moment to acknowledge our First Nations. And maybe wherever you are, you can take a moment and acknowledge the First Nations in your area. Today especially is a day uh, to remember, and some of us wore red. It's a day of remembering Indigenous women. So we'll try and do that. Just take a few moments right there now and think of any Indigenous women and wish, wish them well. Okay, so let's move on to our activities for the evening first of all checking in who is there myra you're back huh bring some sisters with you oh what happened there oh you you wrote me a message hi <laughs> hi myra and hi kennedy hi is this part of my school <laughs> it's kind of late at night to be part of school isn't it ollie but yeah we're kind of doing school things here Hello, Ollie. <laughs> and there's Gracie. Hi, Gracie. And there's Mrs. Harris. Oh, Jack and Maddie are there. Hi, Jack. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Jack. <laughs> yep. Bumble likes to say hi to all of you guys as well. Now, Bumble's got a little song to get you started. He was humming it before we got going here. Oh, and there's Sam. Hi, Sam. All right. Do you know this one? It goes like this. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Good night, sweetheart. Well, I love you so. I hate to leave you, but I really must say. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Bottom, bottom. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go, but I'm, but I'm, good night, sweetheart. Well, I love you so, but I'm, but I'm, I hate to leave you, but I really must say, good night, sweetheart, good night. Ha! <laughs> Good night, you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> Hi, Lulu. It's good to see you tonight, too. So many friends checking in. Oh, look, and there's Lila and Lily are here tonight. Great to see you both. Thanks for coming, everybody. So Bumble's just going to have a seat here. We have a little poem on our bedtime routine here that we're doing with Anti Bookworm. Oh, yep, getting close to bedtime. Have to brush my hair soon and then maybe brush my teeth and just cozy up. Maybe with a book. You going to read a book before you go to bed? Well, this one we've got is from a poem called Bubble. It's a poem from a book called Bubblegum Delicious by Dennis Lee, Canadian poet. We just read one of his the other day from a different book. And actually, Ollie, this one is from your teacher. She loaned us this book. And it's called Indigo Stallion. You know, indigo is a color and the stallion is the horse. Yeah. Deeper than daylight, 
When evening has spread, the indigo stallion appears at your bed. You're up and you're off with wind in your hair. The indigo stallion can fly through the air. He carries you high and he carries you wide on a super galactical indigo ride. He carries you far to the land by the sea. Then he brings you home safely to mommy and me. Isn't that cute? I wonder if that's a dream. Well, people have been having a lot of dreams lately. They've been talking to me about their dreams. Have you been having a lot of dreams and remembering them when you wake up? Yeah. It's pretty cool, right? So we're all just cozying up and getting ready for bedtime with our friend, Little Quack. Now, I chose this book this week because I want to remind you, Sunday is Mother's Day. This book has the mama duck in it quite a bit. So that's to remind you, you know, every day really should be Mother's Day. But on my, on Sunday especially, you might want to take a minute and do something extra special for your mom. So Little Quack's Bedtime is written by Lauren Thompson. The pictures are by Derek Anderson. And who published it? Do you think it was Scholastic? I don't think so. Let's see, it'll say on the title page, nope. This one's by Simon and Schuster Books for young readers. So thanks to them for sharing Little Quack with us. Little Quack's bedtime. Aww. Mama Duck had five little ducklings. Whittle, Waddle, Piddle, Puddle, and Little Quack. You see them all? Oh, they look tired. Day was done and Mama Duck said, snuggle close and shut your eyes. It's sleepy time, little ducklings. Wow, look at that moon. Oh, my friends, how's the sky look out your window tonight? Does it look clear? Hmm. Last night, the moon was amazing, almost full, and glowing so brightly in the night sky. I hope you got a chance to see it. If you didn't, it's going to be full, I think, um, the day after tomorrow. So it should be around if the night skies are clear. Look for our moon. So gorgeous. Well, they had the moon to look at, too, and look what else they had in the sky. Whittle Waddle, Piddle Puddle, and Little Quack snuggled close to Mama. Then her five little ducklings saw, blink, blink, blink. Look, Mama, look, they cried. What's that flashing in the dark? Hmm, what do you think? Mama Duck looked, and then she said, those are fireflies winking good night. That's what is blinking in the dark. Now it's sleepy time, little ducklings. There's the fireflies up close. Do you know which part of the firefly blinks? We should look that up. It's pretty interesting. Whittle shut her eyes and went to sleep. But Waddle, Piddle, Puddle, and Little Quack were still awake. Those four little ducklings heard, Hoo, hoo, hoo. Listen, Mama, listen, they cried. What's that hooting in the dark? Mama Duck listened, and then she said, That's the owl perched high above. That's what is hooting in the dark. Now it's sleepy time, little ducklings. Waddle shut his eyes and went to sleep. Are there two ducklings asleep now? Pit Piddle Puddle and Little Quack were still awake. Those three little ducklings saw something sway. Sway, sway. Look, Mama, look, they cried. What's that moving in the dark? I bet you know. 
Mama looked, and then she said, that's the tree that you play beside. That's what is moving in the dark. Now it's sleepy time, little ducklings. It's kind of a spooky tree, right? Then Piddle shut her eyes and went to sleep. But Puddle and Little Quack were still awake. Those two little ducklings heard swish, swish, swish. Listen, Mama, listen, they cried. What's that? Wrestling in the dark. Oh, little quack's running away. Mama Doug listened and then she said, Those are the reeds saying hush to the night. That's what is rustling in the dark. Now it's sleepy time, ducklings. Puddle shut his eyes and went to sleep. But Little Quack was still awake. Little Quack looked, Little Quack listened. All around was dark, dark, dark. Mama, he cried, why is the night so dark. Do you think Mama's going to go ahead and tell him all about how the earth travels around the sun and how this earth spins every day to make night and day? Let's see. Mama snuggled close and then she said, so the stars can shine their twinkling light. That's why the night is so Oh, so dark. Now, it's sleepy time, little duckling. Then little quack shut his eyes and went to sleep. Good night, little ducklings. Good night. Bottom, bottom, good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. Bottom, bottom, good night, sweetheart. Well, I love you so. Bottom, bottom, I hate to leave you, but I really must say good night, sweetheart. Good night. What are special things are you going to do for your moms, guys, gals, everybody? You got a plan? Hmm. If you don't have a plan yet, that's okay. There's still time. Maybe, maybe make a card? Hmm. Maybe draw a nice picture on it? Write a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. Mama, you're so sweet and I love you. How about that one? I'm sure you can come up with something. Anyway, that's it for tonight, folks. Are you getting a little sleepy? I'm sleepy. Yep. Anti-bookworms going for an early bedtime tonight. Thanks for being here with me. And I will see you again tomorrow, maybe? I hope so. I'll be here. Okay. Take care, everybody. Bye. See ya.